Hello, hello, and continued celebrations to all. Happy festivities, happy gatherings of all kinds, and happy first week of our new year, 2024. Today is January 3rd, and it is National Chocolate Covered Cherry Day, so I wanted to celebrate with a recipe blitz. No riddles, no games, just a straight up recipe. And I found a really unique recipe that we could use with our chocolate covered cherries. It's called a chocolate covered cherry cookie and it looks scrumptious and it has really great reviews. So I wanted to share the recipe. Get out your recording devices or pencils if you still use those things. <laughs> Here we go. Here are the ingredients we need for the chocolate covered cherry cookies. One cup white sugar, half cup butter, one egg, one and a half teaspoons vanilla extract, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, a quarter teaspoon salt, a quarter teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon baking powder, one 10 ounce jar of maraschino cherries, mmm, a half cup of sweetened condensed milk, a half, one full cup <laughs> of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Here's what we do. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, Beat the sugar and butter together in a large bowl with an electric mixer until it's light and fluffy. Add the egg and the vanilla. Beat well. Stir in the flour, cocoa powder, salt, baking soda, and baking powder until it's smooth. Roll the dough into walnut-sized balls and place two inches apart on an ungreased cookie sheet. Make an indentation with your thumb in the center of each cookie, or get fancy and use a fork crisscross the design when you press down. Drain the cherries and reserve the juice for later. Place one cherry in the indentation or the middle of each cookie ball. Combine the chocolate chips with the condensed milk in a saucepan over low heat. Stir until the chocolate is melted. Stir in four teaspoons of cherry juice to this mixture. Drizzle or spoon about one teaspoon of chocolate cherry mixture over each cherry and those indentations should be holding on to the juice for you until you cover it. Bake in the preheated oven for 10 minutes. Cool on the baking sheets briefly before removing to a wire rack to cool completely. Here's a chef's tip for this recipe. Add more cherry juice to the melted chocolate mixture to get a spreading consistency if you need to. Bon appetit, Emsels.